episode of Sight and Sign Outdoors. So today I'm going to be showing you my favorite way of cooking venison backstrap. So I've had this backstrap, as you can see from the dough I shot um, prior to this year. I've had it soaking in water for two days now. This is kind of like gets the blood out of the meat, really gets it pure, really gets it looking nice and ready to go um, for a marinade. And then what I'm going to do is be grilling it later this afternoon. So it's super simple the way I do this. So I take my venison backstrap, I put it in just a standard rubber container. I go ahead and just drop that in there. And then next I'm gonna be using uh, Worcestershire sauce. And I'm just gonna soak the meat, uh, put a pretty good amount, just kind of get, make sure you get all the meat covered. Just kind of douse this in here. You can flip it over, make sure you get both sides. Kind of get a good coat on the meat. But it worked in there nice and good. And then what I'm going to be using next is Weber Montana steak seasoning. This is my favorite steak seasoning, whether it's for um, venison, for beef, whatever. It just really does a great job on the meat. It makes it tender. It gives it a nice, like, garlicky flavor. So I'm just going to do a good amount of that in there. Flip it over. Make sure you get it nice and good on both sides. Work that seasoning down in there nice and good. And then I'll usually just put like another little shot of Worcestershire sauce on top just to make sure I've got a good coating for the marinade. Then that's it. I'm just gonna stick a lid on it now, pop it in the fridge, and then it'll be good to go for uh, the grill later tonight. I'm gonna go shed hunting right now, but I'll be back later this afternoon to grill this up and I'll show you my finished product. Hey, we're back now from shed hunting, getting ready to put the meat on the grill. Had some potatoes gone for about 15 minutes now. Um, we like to call these campfire potatoes. It's just potatoes, butter, onion, a little bit of salt and pepper. Wrap them up in the aluminum foil. They're great as a side to go with our back strap. So here I got the back strap. It's been marinating since about nine o'clock this morning. It's ready to roll. So I'm just gonna take this, I got this grill real red hot, like ready to roll. I'm gonna sear it on both sides, maybe five to 10 minutes on both sides, and then it should be good. With venison, you wanna keep it rare to medium rare if you like your meat done a little bit more. But I always say rare is it just keeps the flavor a lot better in the meat. Toss those on the grill. I'm gonna take a little bit more of this Weber Montana steak seasoning. Put a little bit more on there. It's already got some on there from the marinade earlier. I'll do that to both sides. So I'll do it after I flip it. So I'll just put that on there and leave it for about, like I said, five minutes a side, maybe 10, depending on how you like it. And then um, after it comes off the grill, we'll let it rest like you're supposed to do with steak and should be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip these now onto the other side. We're gonna hit them with a meat thermometer and see where they're at. Flip these over. If you take a look, they're still really tender, juicy, have a nice char on the outside. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit these with a meat thermometer now. So this one's running about 130 with the warm with the thickest spot, and then this one's running about 132 with the thickest spot. So they should be well done. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull them off the grill now. Um, probably flip my potatoes one more time. You have to flip those. You get those nice and tender. As potatoes take a little bit longer, and should be good to go. So I pulled the potatoes off the uh, grill. I've had the back strap now resting for eight to ten minutes. I think they both turned out really good. We've got a uh, medium to medium rare cook there on the back strap, and ready to dig in on this meal. If you liked our video regarding the marinade and everything I did on how to cook venison backstrap, the simplest and easiest way that I have found to do it, and it comes out with a great product, as you can see here, then go ahead and give us a like on this video. Um, subscribe to our YouTube and give us a follow on Instagram. Um, be on the lookout for more cooking tips on how to cook wild game. Be on the lookout for some infield content and also be on the lookout for a giveaway coming up very soon. Thanks and have a great day.